Now I'm just gonna go spell it out, all right? So in the left hand I do, for the D major I do D and F sharp with my uh, fourth and second finger. For those, you know, not too familiar with fingering, doesn't matter which hand, but your thumbs are always number one, then your index finger two, middle finger three, and obviously four, and then five. So for the first chord, I do f uh, fourth finger and second finger. So D, F sharp, fourth finger on D, second finger on F sharp, then the right hand, I play A, D, F sharp. Uh, with the fingers one, two, four. So. All right. And then the next one, I do C sharp and E sharp, which is the same thing as F, but I'm trying to be proper, you know, using the, the right and harmonics in the right time. So. C sharp, E sharp. I use three for C sharp, one for F in the left hand and in the right hand. I do um, A double sharp, which is B. Um, and then I do E. All right, and then G. So one, three, five, that's what I use. And then for the next chord, I do um, C, E, B flat in the left hand. And that's the fingers I use. Uh, C, I use the fifth finger, E, third finger. Um, for B flat, I use the first finger. Then on the right hand, I do um, D flat, so you can say, you know, flat nine, obviously, you know, those that are tracking it, following the terminology in the lingo, uh, sharp 11, F sharp, and then the 13, A, so D flat, F sharp, A, and then the fingers I use is one, three, five, so. And then the next one for the A sharp seven um, altered. It's another way as well to say it. So I have the the alter the tensions altered. Um, is uh, A sharp, uh, C double sharp, G sharp, and the fingerings I use is five for A sharp three. Uh, for C double sharp or D, um, then G sharp one. I use the the one the first finger, and then the right hand I use C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and the fingering that I use is one for C sharp, F sharp. I use third finger, and then for the fifth finger I use A sharp. We're almost there. And then for the next chord, I use the same fingerings that I use for the A sharp seven. So I play B seven altered, you know, uh, B seven sharp nine flat, thir uh, flat 13. So B, D sharp, A, and I use the fingerings, the fifth finger for B, the, for the D sharp third finger. For A, I play my first finger. And for the right hand, I play D, G, B. And the finger is I use for my thumb, I play D. Uh, for D, I, I, I use my thumb, my first finger. For G, I use my third finger. For B, I use my fifth finger. So here we go. And for the next one, F sharp seven with a flat nine and 13. In the left hand, I play F sharp and E. And I use my fifth finger for F sharp, my first finger for E. And then on the right hand, I play A sharp, I play
play D sharp and G and or A double flat with G. Anyways, um, yeah, the flat nine. So anyways, for the uh, fingering, I use my first finger, my third finger, and my fifth finger. So, and then uh, the next chord, I use, uh, That that's what that's commonly used. E minor seven with the nine and eleven. I'll play it this way. In the left hand. I was doing a couple of options, but I'll just show this one. Um, e, B, F sharp in my left hand, and I use my fifth finger for E, second finger for B, um, first finger for F sharp, and then for the right hand, I play G. A, B, D, F sharp. G and A, I use my thumb. I go like this. So instead of playing one note like that, I turn it to the side and I play G and A with my thumb. Kind of like sideways. So like the keys are, are this. Instead of playing my using my thumb like that, I put it to the side. That's how you get that nice trick there. Or that position is not really a trick. <laughs> so G and A with my first finger. And then with my second finger, B. My third finger, D. With my fifth finger, I play F sharp. So. That A7, you can play it different ways. We can do like the regular one. Um, A7, I'm playing A, E, G for the A7 flat 9, 13. A, E, G in the left hand. And that's with my fifth finger, I'm playing A. Second finger, playing E. Third finger, G. Then in the right hand, I'm playing G, A, uh, or I'm sorry, G, B flat for the flat nine, C sharp, and then um, F sharp. So with that, the fingerings for that is uh, for my for G, I, I use my first finger. Uh, for the flat nine, the B flat, I use my second finger. For the third of the, of A seven. The C sharp, I use my third finger. And then for the fifth finger, or for F sharp, I use my fifth finger. And then the last chord, D major seven with the ninth, I play the root, the fifth, and then the third up an octave, so it'll be the tenth. Um, as far as intervals go. So, uh, D, A, F sharp. Fifth finger on D, second finger on A, um, first finger on F sharp. Then on the right hand, I play kind of like an upper uh, structured seventh chord, uh, three, five, seven, nine. So it's an F sharp minor seven over, over that left hand, but Basically, it's the third, the fifth, the seventh, and the ninth. Um, so, you know, that's more getting into like upper structure harmony. You've probably heard that terminology, upper structure triads. You know. So, anyways, um, it in the right hand, I play the F sharp, A, C sharp, E, using the fingers. Uh, one for F sharp, um, two for A, three for C sharp, and then five for E. So the whole thing that I just explained, you can, you know, 
change the sound, give you a different touch, you know. Or add some strings to it, you know. Or, you know, go a little bit more Luis Miguel on it. Or just playing piano, you know.